Hi, in this video we're simply going to be going over the goal section and then we'll go over the plans and the fine plan section in a different uh, set, a different video. And so you can click on it. I'm trying to keep these as short as possible. But you obviously put in your target weight, your start date, and then your end date. And if you want to put in your body fat percentage goal, uh, we think it's a good way, especially a good thing to keep track of, especially if you're lifting, you might be gaining. This is this is part to calculate your BMR, uh, your BMR via the Harris Benedict or the Mifflin uh, equation. And if you go to edit, you can see that you can click here to calculate your calorie goal based on your BMR, or you can use it to calculate on your health side kick calculation. Remember, the health side calc uh, kick health side kick calculation is not available till, until two weeks. You have to have some data in there. Uh, because we use moving averages and so forth to calculate based on the activity you did, the, your weight, uh, up or down, your uh, spiritual and mental activities, if you choose to put those in, and then the foods and exercise you're doing. We use that to calculate what your, uh, based, what your goal is going to look at. Like. So if I want to, my target weight would be 171. My start date would be 1126. Let's say, for example, uh, Let's edit. Let's edit this, and let's say uh, go to today's date, 112, 228. Done. Here's 171. This is. Uh, let's say I wanted to get there by the 28th. My current weight is uh, 173. If I wanted to go ahead and calculate based on my BM, uh, based on the Harris Benedict equation and so forth, I can do that by clicking that, and that would give me my uh, calories consumed based on the Harris Benedict and the Mifflin equations averaged or I can go to the health sidekick equation you're gonna see a big difference because obviously we believe that well I know the health sidekick equation at least for me is a lot more accurate I simply go there's the health sidekick equation and it tells me what I need to do to get to where I uh, get to where I, my goal would be then you can also go ahead and put your mental and spiritual goals in here very simple just go edit and put the time that you want and then what you can do is just the amount of time that you want to spend doing your spiritual and mental activity if you decide to do that. And then you can put it in your log uh, as easily as I showed you. As you could go to your daily log, you can easily see that. You can also put it in the plan section, which I'll be doing shortly. Here very uh, soon we'll also have another section that I'll put up that is for women uh, with their uh, cycle and we're going to go ahead and so that it'll be easy for women to be able to calculate even when they're seeing uh, weight gain or weight loss depending usually weight gain during those cycles that they can easily identify it and not be confused with what's going to happen over a period of a course of 30 days. Anyhow I hope this helps. That's it.